Brought to you by My Green Egypt, green resources for efficient energy. Hello guys and welcome to a new video of My Green Egypt. We're going to change the name of My Green Egypt, but I thought to myself why not make a new video until we settle on the name and mission of our future work. Today in this video we are going to test this Chinese um, we'll see solar charge controller and we are going to uh, see how it works, we are going to connect it to a power supply to see the output. Uh, um, it has actually two outputs, an output for charging the battery and an output for the load which could be a 12 volts lamp. So let's hop in the back and see what's inside. Um, here is the charge controller, the WLC charge controller, and um, it has um, uh, six inputs and outputs, and on a terminal block, uh, each two of them represents a connection to a device. The first two is, uh, is being connected to your solar panel, the second two uh, to your battery, and the, the, the third two are connected to your uh, load. Um, in this case, it would be a lamp, 12 volt lamp, or 24 volts lamp. I haven't figured out uh, whether this device is working on 12 volts or 24 volts. It's written here that this device can work on 12 volts and 24 volts, um, 20 amps maximum. Um, the device also has uh, three LED indicators, um, a charge indicator, the load indicator and the battery indicator and also it has a reset button and I'm actually shocked that they decided to put a reset button on this kind of device because when you buy a charge controller you're just you're expecting that you would install it in the site and then you're not gonna go near it again but um, the reality that they decided to uh, put an external reset button, that means that they are telling you um, when a problem occurs, then you are simply going to go to the device and then press the reset button. And this device is expected to work indefinitely. Hello again, I've uh, made the basic connections to um, the wall C and PPT30. Uh, and uh, uh, I used a uh, symbol transformer um, uh, to generate the, requi the required voltage for the input. This is a uh, 220 to uh, 22 volts basic uh, step down transformer. And here is a uh, rectifier uh, circuit board that would take the AC output of the transformer to convert it to DC output. I've connected, to, uh, I've connected the DC output to the input of the solar panel on the MPPT-30. And uh, here is the uh, two terminals for the battery. And there is a cool thing that I discovered here is that um, this battery charger doesn't turn on until you connect to the battery leads. So, I'll connect it, I connect the uh, negative lead and here you can see the uh, LED of the charge LED trick, uh, trickling. Let's measure the, um, the apple voltage on the battery. Um, 14 volts. Um, the input voltage of the solar panels is um, 17 volts. And um, if I want to uh, measure the uh, the amps, I need. Here we go. Okay, there is a high current rebel, but the charger is uh, charging the battery at a approximately one amp with a high uh, current rebel. 
and I don't know why there is a high current ripple. Probably we'll need an oscilloscope to see the, um, the voltage and current ripple. So uh, wait a minute until I get my oscilloscope. So we are having a constant DC value on the battery and because we haven't connected yet the input of the solar panels now I've connected the input of the solar panel and you can see on the oscilloscope the voltage is fluctuating so we're having a high current ripple um, on this MVPT charger and that's pretty much it um, I, I would need a um, 12 volts load to test the output of the load. So the, there is a 13.2 amp of voltage on the load. So it works and let's open it up and see it from the inside. So this is the uh, well C MPPT pattern charger from the inside. Um, as you can see here we have um, two circuit boards. Um, the main one is the controller circuit board and uh, the other one is the power circuit board. Um, the circuit board is, has all the power transistors and all the power diodes. It's connected directly to this large heatsink. And, um, and now I know the reason behind having the, those fluctuations of the voltage. This uh, small air core inductor, so that would indicate that this inductor has a small inductance, which means that if you are not going to use a high frequency, then the output of this charger is going to contain a high current ripple. So I don't know why they didn't go for... Uh, a ferrite core uh, inductor. But anyway, that's everything with uh, this uh, MPPT battery charger. We'll, we'll probably make an, uh, another video about the uh, reverse engineering of this charger. We'll try to draw the uh, internal circuit board and um, to see how it operates electronically. So, uh, so we'll see you in the next video.